Hi, my name is John Tigg. I teach high school math in Fairfax, Vermont. Uh, earlier this year, I got interested in the flip class, and as part of the work for the flip class, I was looking for a way to integrate a variety of media into a presentation that I could that I could put online for my students. And I found the Hovercam. I'd actually found it on Facebook quite a while earlier in the year, and when I got to the point where I had a use for it, I asked my principals, and because the price was very reasonable, they were willing to give me one to give it a try, and then what I found is that I really like it. I enjoy the fact that it's easy to run, it was easy to install, it sets up quickly, it's portable, and it, you know, bottom line, it shows a really good, really good graphics display. Um, what I figured I would do is show you actually some of the things that I've recorded on the using the Hovercam, a couple of video pieces that I've got, and it's the Hovercam video, so it does do a little stop action. There it is. Get that all secured up, so I'll just hang out for a second while we get it to be full screen. I'll show you what we're doing. So we're going to cut the angle. We're going to bisect this angle so that it's in exactly in two equal parts. There we go. Full screen. Super. I can see. So when I say we're just going to use a compass, I'm talking about just using a compass and a straight edge, and the straight edge that we use is essentially a popsicle stick. So, here we go. With our compass, we just put the point of the compass right on the vertex of the angle, and we just randomly pick a measurement, which doesn't really matter what it is, and we just draw an arc, like so. With the compass set the same exact way, we put the point right where the arc intersects, and I don't know if you can see that, but right where the, the thing that we just made crosses the angle, we swing an arc from there. We swing that same arc from up above in the same place. And what we get is an X. See the X there? If I then now use my straight edge, and I start at the vertex, and I go through the X, I should have done this right have two angles that are congruent. Should have bisected the angle. And the reason that works, just to give you like the, the background in terms of ge the geometry piece. So that preceding part was actually filmed from the, using the hover cam. I record that video and I put it online, but it's, you can see it's really crisp, it's really clear, it's a very great way to capture, capture live action demonstration for your students. So. It's all through the hover cam. It was an excellent buy. The administration is happy with it, so I would recommend the hover cam for. I just use it for video clip, but it does a lot more than that as you uh, as you get to explore with the with the hover cam. So I recommend getting one. Hover cams are really good. It's a good value and a uh, excellent piece of equipment.